What's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video here. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with the Android 12 developer preview. Um, so I have created a previous video on how to install this and that video will be linked up here in this corner. You can check out that video on how to do that if you decide that you want to give it a shot. Um, of course, if you are running, let's say, a, a, a Verizon variant um, or a carrier variant, uh, of the Pixel lineup that's capable of using the developer preview. Just note that because carrier variants are car uh, bootloader locked, uh, you will not be able to revert back uh, from this. So if you make this venture and go that route, you're stuck until pretty much the stable version, which will fall probably late summer, uh, early fall or something like that. Uh, so just heads up there. Um, but I have been running this pretty much ever since I created that video um, that I uh, alluded to earlier. Uh, it's been on my daily driver, so I can definitely give you a proper insight on stability in my total experience. Um, in terms of installation, same, uh, same as any other developer preview or beta, straightforward, easy. If you want to, to go that route, you can. Now the first developer preview uh, launched a, a while ago already, and there has since been a, a update to it, a 1.1 per se, um, which launched uh, earlier already, uh, I think late February, early March. Um, so in terms of daily usability, um, I would say that it is stable enough to use as a daily driver if you want to uh, be a risk taker. I haven't run into any issues in terms of it breaking my phone, of course, it, um, or any real major bugs. There are more minor annoyances. I'll get into that in just a second and I'll explain why. Um, so terms of battery life, after the 1.1 update, uh, the actual battery life on this has gotten a lot, I mean a lot better. And what I mean by that is before I kind of always felt like myself um, needing to charge my phone, um, usually once or twice during the day, um, whereas now I feel like it's pretty much solid just like it was on Android 11. Um, now of course, I'm currently not rooted, whereas before I was rooted. Um, I was still getting better battery life when I was rooted because I was able to uh, do some custom uh, kernel stuff and everything else, um, or at least right now I'm not doing that just because, oh, again, different video, different topic. But battery life has been solid. Um, wireless charging works, fast charging works, so all the, the goodness there. Um, in terms of speed usability, I mean, this has been very smooth and solid. Um, haven't run into any sort of hiccups. Uh, slight caveat, I have had one hard reboot um, in terms of when I what I was doing at the time. It's only happened once and I would say considering the amount of time that I spent using this device um, since I flashed, it's been, I would say that's very minor and acceptable. Um, it was, I think it was, uh, I can't remember now, but I remember I was trying to turn on the screen and then uh, unlock the phone with my fingerprint and then the screen went black and then that was it. Um, but other than that, it's been good. Now, uh, what I mentioned just a, a little earlier, the small annoyances, that being um, my picture in picture has been really wonky. So say I go and watch a video per se, I noticed that like, this little, you might be able to see it there, there's that little round bubble that appeared uh, there for a minute, that occurred. Um, and I haven't really been, it's been hit or miss uh, with that bubble staying in that picture in picture mode. Um, and then, so that, that's one, two. I've noticed when I'm using Facebook Messenger and like bubbles for like the notification and chat apps, I notice that sometimes when the bubbles are active and working, let's say I'm having a conversation up in Facebook Messenger and then that same person messages, that entire just chat bubble just completely closes. Um, I, I've, I want to say that's more on the developer side of Facebook, not of Google and Android, just because of the fact since it is a developer preview, the app may not support uh, Android 12. So I'm, I'll give it a pass in that regard. It's just minor annoyances. Um, 
I've now have found from time to time my Wi-Fi would just disconnect and then reconnect immediately after. Um, a minor bug, if anything, just because there's just something I've noticed the icon changes, but it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, stability, smoothness, everything is working good. Um, of course, you are not going to pass safety net. Um, so be be mindful, um, especially if you are have the bootloader unlocked. Um, you're not going to pass safety net. Google Pay probably won't work. Now, I have found in the past, if I have already set up Google Pay prior to me flashing a beta or developer preview, I have in the past experienced that Google Pay still works. Now, if you, let's say, hadn't set up Google Pay and then you flash it and then try to set it up, it's not going to work. It's not going to pass. Um, so that, again, that your, your experience might vary. So just be mindful that if you use uh, tap to pay uh, for in-store purchases, uh, you your experience might be that you won't be able to. So just a heads up there. Um, Rooting this on Android 12, at least on the Pixel 5, it's probably going to be the same for um, other Pixels, is you will need to, if you want to root that is, um, you will need to actually wipe the phone and disable boot verification or verity. Uh, in the fast boot commands, I'm gonna to need to create an entire separate video on that because I thought, um, at least in my video, the installation, how to retain root isn't quite the same. It is in terms of the process of flashing uh, the patched boot image, but you do have to run a command after you wipe the device. Um, pretty much just like on other devices where you run into issues with a custom recovery and booting and things like that, um, you that's just a, something, another step that you have to run into and do if you want to actually root uh, Android 12, at least on the Pixel 5. So just a heads up there. Um, I don't, I'm not using any of the new features uh, such as like the new kind of UI or anything like that, which you can enable through ADB. I don't care about that just because I don't want it to look like a Samsung or one UI. Um, it's not my thing. So one thing I did notice and what I miss already is that the dark mode um, in terms of the the system is not OLED, uh, it's not OLED or AMOLED black. Um, in the settings, it is here, but elsewhere, it is not. That's just a, a heads up there. Um, in terms of the actual just media controls, that's been perfectly fine. I haven't actually had issues with that. If anything, the the notifications for the media player actually has improved. Now the, the media controls have changed in terms of you're able to turn off these kind of controls per app if you want the media controls to uh, last longer um, after you stop playing or something like that. Um, the media controls have improved since Android 11 when I was using it. I remember it just popping up every once in a while on Spotify um, and now it's pretty quite consistent when I close out of the app, uh, the, the actual notification for the music streaming stops and goes away but uh yeah i mean i want to say phone calls uh, gps maps i'm using it for navigation for work for driving around uh, i mean it's been it's been great um it's still just a fast the camera the camera works i haven't had any issues with the actual camera itself either i mean for it being a developer preview it is mighty good um let me know in the comments what you think in terms of the actual feet, uh, Android 12 specific features. If you want me to make a, a separate video on maybe how to enable those or whatnot, uh, let me know and I can certainly cover that. That's not a problem. So overall, I mean, would I flash this? I mean, obviously I did, but would should I should you flash this? Mm, that's tough. Um, I would say maybe if you're really adventurous, if you want to uh, kind of tell people, hey, I'm running a new Android version, then go for it, sure. Um, if you're running a, a carrier variant and you want to flash this, I would say no, I would hold off um, till it's stable and released at that point. Um, if you do have a unlocked version, then go for it. You can always revert back. That's not a problem. I would definitely give it a shot at that point if you want to kind of uh, play around with it. Of course, you might r run into some incompatibilities with 
uh, with some apps. They might not work, they might crash, but overall, all my apps, they work fine. My banking apps, such as Bank of America, um, my USAA for credit card, uh, PayPal works, everything that I use on a normal daily basis, um, I've had no issues with. Um, now, I will say this LG Thin Q, which is for like smart home appliances, that doesn't work only because, look, I'm not rooted, right? So if you come here to Magisk, not rooted, right? But because of my bootloaders unlocked, I go and open this app. They'll be like, I'll skip the setup. Can't run on rooted device. Well, <laughs> you guys suck because one, I'm not rooted. Two, I can't even use your app on an unlocked bootloader. And even when I am rooted, sometimes I've had issues where even though I've hidden the app, it still appears as though I'm rooted. I don't know, it's weird. But anyways, um, a lot of the features that are gonna be coming in Android 12 visually are not available like to the masses yet. So we'll have to see how that looks and how that feels and everything else. Um, but right now, I. I'm presently surprised and pleased with this. Like I said, battery life has been great. I leave this on uh, the adaptive for 90 hertz and get through the day just fine. And like I said, wireless charging works as well. So um, yeah, <laughs> uh, this was a quick kind of look in terms of my experience. I wanna share with you all uh, my experience with Android 12 developer preview. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments and I'll get to those as well in case I didn't cover that in this video. Thank you for watching. You take care. Stay safe. Have a good one.